It's Lisa, it's Lisa Danielle. Something like that. world it's your girl lisa d and i'm back with another lisa diy to show you how to create these trendy but can be kind of expensive in stores distressed bleach t-shirts but you know i got you for the low we're doing them for less than five dollars each so let's get started so i went to my local thrift store and i got three different oversized men's t-shirts for about five dollars all together so with this first one it's got the godfather and his cat i'm just going to bleach it just spraying bleach all over it on the front and the back a tip is to always do your bleaching outside number one it keeps the fumes outside and the sun helps the bleaching process to go a lot quicker So for the next shirt, I'm gonna use a technique I like to call the streaming method, and I'm just gonna turn the nozzle on my uh, spray bottle so that the bleach comes out as a stream, and I'm just gonna make little designs and lines and kinda do it however I wanna turn up and do it. And I'm gonna do that on the front and the back. So the last shirt I got was very oversized and kind of long so I knew for a fact I wanted it to be a dress like a t-shirt dress so I'm just going to use both techniques and I'm going to just spray across the bottom and then I'm going to do the sleeves and once I get to the back I'm going to go ham and just turn up and do whatever I want all over the back. This is definitely where you want to create a design all your own and just make it as unique as you can. I mean it's bleach. You can't really mess it up. Then when I'm done, I'm going to take all my shirts to the sink and I'm going to rinse them with cold water in order to stop the bleaching process. You want to stop the bleaching process because bleach will eat through your clothing. And then after I did that, I realized it still smelled a little like bleach, so I just washed it and dried it like I would do any type of laundry item. So yes, yeah, so this is what I ended up with and this t-shirt I decided to just distress. And so I'm going to snip away at pieces of it and pull open the holes and just kind of keep snipping and pulling open the holes. Wherever I feel like doing it, I mean, it's distressed. You do it where you want. Then I'm gonna use a technique called cat clawing where I'm gonna open my scissors and just scrape the shirt. This is gonna create holes and runs and snags and everything we've never wanted in our shirts, but now we pay a ton of money for. And then I'm going to just snip off the bottom because y'all know I love me a crop t-shirt. Now with my second shirt that I made, I wanted to distress it a little bit more so you'll see um, the cat clawing technique happening. But then I was like, ooh, I want to cut the shoulders out. So I cut a semicircle from one side and used that piece to trace the other side so both my cutouts are even. And then um, I was kind of like, oh, this was cute, but I would love to make it a little sexier. So I cut the back out um, just like a half circle so that you kind of have that high-low effect, but it'll be low in the front and high in the back. So you know, show off your little curves, your little two, turn up. Now for the last one, which is our dress, it was kind of playing at the top, so I had the idea to get some elastic cord from Walmart, some E6000 glue, some faux suede cord, some large eyelets, you can get any size you want. All these are from Walmart. Your large eyelet tool is right beside it at Walmart. And a hammer, because guess what? We are going to create one of those lace up in the front, show a little cleavage shirt. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a, maybe half of the neck out, and then I'm gonna cut a straight line down the middle for as low as I want my V to go. And then I'm gonna cut each piece out at an angle. You know, I was just winging it, you guys. There's no measurement to this. You just do it how you want. It's distressed, so it can look however you want. So now I'm going to take that elastic cord, and I'm just going to measure it out to where I know I want it to be. And then I'm going to take my E6000 glue and just glue those two pieces down. But you're going to want to put some paper in between because you don't want your shirt to stick together from the other side, and then you can't even get into it.
Now I'm gonna wing it even more and I'm gonna use a multi-purpose tool called a rat tail comb, you guys. And I'm gonna use my rat tail comb to poke holes through my t-shirt where the elastic cord is so that I can add my large eyelets. Now when you buy your eyelets, whether they're large, small, whatever, they're gonna come with instructions. So you wanna follow the instructions that are on the box of the eyelets that you purchased because there's no way for me to teach you how to do this. It just depends on what, which ones you buy. So follow those instructions. Usually you just need a hammer and the tool and the eyelet. Then I'm going to take my suede cord and I'm going to lace it through just like shoelaces. We all know how to tie our shoes, right? So after I finish lacing that through, I think I'm done here. You can dress these distressed t-shirts up or down. You can wear them with heels, shorts, skinny jeans, anything. You can even wear them with your J's. Who cares? It's your shirt, your style. Do it how you want. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And if you try any of these, I'd love to see it. So hashtag LisaDIY on social media. Talk to you soon. Bye.